The one question on everyone's mind, regardless of their worldview, is what went wrong on this planet? And why is there death? And why is there suffering? Every worldview is wrestling, and they all have various versions of that. And outside of the Bible, we don't even really have an answer as to why things went wrong. But if you look at the Bible, the answer makes immediate sense. The book of Genesis tells us that mankind rebelled against God, his goodness, his love and perfection, and sought autonomy and the worship of self, and destroyed all subsequent generations of men by separating themselves from God. And the federal hardship that was in Adam, representing all of mankind, extended down via each and every descendant. The Bible says we're all born having committed as if it were the sin of Adam. So in Romans chapter 5, the Apostle Paul says there's a second Adam to save us from the first. And the first committed the fall, and the second commits the promise and salvation and redemption. 1 Corinthians 15, 45 to 49, New King James Version. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. However, the spiritual was not first, but the natural and afterward the spiritual. The first man was of the earth, made of dust. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As was the man of dust, so also are those who are made of dust. And as is the heavenly man, so also are those who are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the man of dust, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly man. By mentioning Jesus' life, Paul recalls another parallel between Jesus and the Old Testament, the link to Adam. Adam represents the coming one, a type of Jesus. Adam gave us physical life, and Christ, the second Adam, gave us spiritual life. Both Adam and Eve give us life, but only the second Adam can give us eternal life. Adam may have given us life, but his main legacy is that many people died as a result of one man's sin. He left us with the legacy of death, but we have no grounds to complain because we demonstrate every time we sin that we would not have chosen any better than he did. The gift of grace from God is not like the trespass. Unlike Adam, who gave us both life and death, Jesus only gives life. And while we earned Adam's penalty of death, we are given God's grace as a gift. The human race can be divided into two groups, Adam and Christ. Every person you meet is either in Adam or in Christ, and the difference has eternal ramifications. Adam's path leads to judgment, which results in condemnation. However, the path of Christ leads to justification. God saves us in order for us to reign in life. That's it. To live lives of spiritual victory rather than spiritual destruction. Consequently, just as one trespass resulted in condemnation for all people, so also one righteous act resulted in justification and life for all people. Romans 5.18 The sin we inherited from Adam, known as original sin, is overcome by Christ's death because justification leads to life for everyone through one righteous act. Paul means everyone when he says everyone. Even though they are all born sinners, Christ's blood covers us until we reach the age of accountability, when a person can choose to transgress and reject his revelation. We are saved because of Christ's work. Many will be made righteous as a result of Christ's obedience. We can share in his perfect record because he lived the perfect life we should have. Parallels between Adam and Jesus Adam was the first man, created directly by God, the symbolic head of humanity. Jesus is the first God-man, the direct Son of God, 
the head of the church. Adam and Jesus both entered the world sinless. Where Adam fell short, Jesus triumphed. Adam depicts our earthly character. 1 Corinthians 15, 47 to 48. The first man was of the earth, made of dust. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As was the man of dust, so also are those who are made of dust. And as is the heavenly man, so also are those who are heavenly. Just as our physical bodies die, so do we perish as a result of Adam's sin nature. Meanwhile, Jesus reveals his spiritual nature to us. 1 Corinthians 15, 47 to 49, New King James Version. The first man was of the earth made of dust. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As was the man of dust, so also are those who are made of dust. And as is the heavenly man, so also are those who are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the man of dust, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly man. Adam was the figurehead of broken humanity. Jesus is now the head of the redeemed church. Other fascinating parallels can be found as snippets throughout the Gospels. In John 2015, Mary misidentifies the risen Jesus as a gardener, which was supposed to be Adam's job. And just as death came to all because of disobedience on a tree, Genesis 2.17, life came to all because of obedience on a tree, the cross.